guys thanks for tuning back into the channel we really appreciate you guys stopping by we're off now to the cabin we're at the El Dorado National Forest Sly Park Station this is a US forestry there's lots of trails around here and we're coming up on the cabin right now but we're here for a week we'll be taking lots of trails as you can see there's one right there right in front of the cabin it's nice and wide open here as you can see there's lots of room here's the cabin this is owned by the forestry El Dorado National Forest right here this is the full cabin right here it's only about 700 square feet Look at the size of the pine cones around here, guys. We grow them big in California. Everything's big, hardcore big around here. I'm telling you. So, the property of the United States Forestry right here. Read before you enter. Here's my beautiful wife, Gina. She's just kicking back, having a glass of champagne on the deck. So let's go in and take a tour through the cabin guys so it opens up to a nice big living room right here we got gear all over here. we're gonna be here 10 days first aid knives gear packs walkie talkies ambient radio chargers this is like the charger station right here it's got a wall heater we really don't need that it's got a television um, it's got a fireplace here it opens up to a nice big kitchen in here as well. Justin loves Jana right there. Right on the fridge. So let's see what we got. We're going to be cooking this week guys. We're going to have steak and lobster. That's tomorrow. That's on the menu tomorrow. Opening up the fridge we got tons of ice. Ribs. Chicken. All kinds of goodies. Hot dogs. You name it. It's got a lot of places to store different stuff as well. We got a fridge fully stocked. We got some of that awesome American River Brewery beer right there. My wife's champagne. Plenty of fluids, Cokes, waters on this side, you name it. We got it all. Barbecue sauce. We're going to be doing a lot of barbecues. So stay tuned through the whole video to watch every barbecue we do here for the 10 days. It's got awesome, it's got a pretty nice sized kitchen, you know, all, all the appliances and everything. It's got a stove, a range top up there with a fan. It's got fans, ceiling fans moving on down in the little tiny hallway here. It's got a nice sized bathroom. Um, don't tread on me towel as well. Inside here we got plenty of different things to look at. We got our firearms of course and plenty of games, toilet paper and all the good accessories. My wife's clothes, um, uh, Maxpedition Balthazar bag in there. Now let's move on to the bedroom. The bedroom's pretty small now. They only got single beds. Here's my wife's bed. Um, she's got a Swiss gear. Sleeping bag. I got the Recon 2 out today. Um, it's got a huge closet in here. We brought our jackets up for the night time. It's the month of September 2016. Bunch of different gear bags in here as well. Like I said, we're going to be here for a while. So stick around for the whole entire video. Lots of trails, lots of food being cooked, lots of fun with my beautiful wife, Gina. And then here on the back step near the porch area has got fully stocked and all kinds of appliances and everything. So let's take a look on the back side here. The back deck here area. It's got, got a horseshoe pit here. Place to hang your clothes there. Um, it's got plenty of wood right here, so I'm glad I brought my axes up to chop all this wood here in the shed um, It's got everything going for it. Let me tell you look how wide and open it is out here. It's just awesome totally incredible Now over here. It's got a picnic table 
Um, there's a fire pit, benches all around here, and look, it opens up to the El Dorado National Forest. Now, the only barbecue they have here is a charcoal barbecue, but that'll work, or you can cook on that fire pit over there as well. Um, I just hung my hammock right here because it's still pretty warm out. You can kick back in a hammock late at night or sleep out here and the bugs aren't going to bother you so I didn't stick any um, you know hammock up or anything like that it was just a blue sky hammock but look at all this area around here guys just incredible tons of wood so here's the back side of the cabin this is the bedroom window right here um, it's got beautiful Jeffrey pine around here bunch of different pine trees and here's some more of the area as you guys can see it's got awesome trees it's well shaded throughout this whole entire area right here pretty awesome you get a little bit of sun but you get shade in parts too as well so that makes it really nice um, this place has been here for many of years. Um, the state forestry owns this. He ran it through the state forestry department. Um, it's a real high fire danger here. Smokey the Bear recommends bring a shovel, bring your water, and a rake because you don't want to fire throughout the whole entire national forest. We're up at the cabin. We're going to be posting this video late, but we wanted to wish all of you a happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. We're going to be kicking back out here, having our cocktails. My wife's drinking champagne, right, babe? Yep. And then I got the American River Coloma Brown Ale right here. We're going to try this one out before we light the fire. Right here, I got the Tops Bartender Defender. USA made, of course. Let's crack this bad boy open right now. Let's see how well this beer tastes. Look at that. That beer looks mighty good. Let's get to the alcohol content on this one. It's 5.5% by volume. Um, it's one pint, of course. You only can pick this up in... Um, Placerville, right? Mm -hmm. At your other store. Yep. Yeah. So you only can get that in Northern California in Placerville. Um, it's a brewery right here on the American River, not too far from here. But I want to wish my wife cheers. Cheers. And I love you. Love you too. And let's try out the Coloma Brown Ale made by the American River Brewing Company. Cheers to all you guys. Oh, that one tastes really smooth. I've tried this beer before and me and my wife ended up buying like the whole store out. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, we got like case after case in the cabin here. And then we special ordered this. And we special ordered everything. Let's get some of that shaving off there. Wet your foot real quick. Here it goes. And there we go. Whoops. A little bit of wind. Slit. It's going now. There was a little bit of wind at first, but let's kick some of this fat wood down here, honey, so we can get that started for all our viewers out there and walk this over to the fire right now. So we do have a fire permit yep. and everything and a chopping permit, but not a cutting permit. <laughs> I gotta walk slow because this might go out on me. So while he's doing that, I'd like to say hi to our son, Robert. He's stationed in Hawaii in the Marines. We wish him a great success story, and we hope he's living large there. Love you, Robert. We love you, Robert. Hope miss you're you. Doing good. We miss you over there in Hawaii. We'll be over there soon to visit. We'll be over very soon. <laughs> well, not very soon, but next year. Why don't you say, Ben? Yep. Yeah. I forgot my USMC flag, so. Yeah, we have had to do, a Robert. USMC <laughs> flag, but 
We forgot that one. It wasn't on the list. It wasn't on the list. I guess that's why we forgot it. Because you're drinking everything. Good. Good. That's a cute little bottle opener. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't you like this one? The Topps Bartender Defender. Yeah, you can even cut champagne bottles off. Yeah, tops off. Tops off of champagne with this and mm -hmm. everything. Or this a little box opener box cutter box cutter you name it yeah this for anything small mm -hmm. fits perfect in your pocket and by the way i did do a review on this one so if you want to see the review on the tops bartender defender i'll probably link it down below in the description box so you guys can check that out pretty cool glass so you got me mm -hmm. cosmopolitan whiskey sour manhattan Margaritas, daiquiris, Tom Collins. It's a drink mixer glass. It's a drink mixer glass. <laughs> it's perfect for us. You got a little bug right there. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs. <laughs> so, there's been a lot of bugs lately. Last year we came here to this cabin and there wasn't that many bugs around. But our fire's starting to go right now. So This year we brought, just in case, the Sawyer bug repellent. Yeah. We picked up the Sawyer bug repellent, and that stuff is awesome. Didn't we use that? Where'd we use that? Pack Saddle, right? Pack Saddle. Yeah. That was a fun camping trip. Well, yep. that has some of the best hikes around there. I mean, this place is outstanding for hiking. What would I hike to? Um, Sierra Buttes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hiked to the Sierra Buttes. Um, the fire lookout. Uh, yeah, it's a fire lookout tower. It's um, like awesome. four miles there and four miles back, so you got an eight-mile trip. But it's all uphill. And it's all uphill and then all downhill. So... Uh, to me, uphill, I don't like hiking uphill, but downhill is not a problem at all. No, I'm not freaking out. I'm just getting rid of the bugs. Yeah, we're just getting rid of the bugs. <laughs> I mean, last year we had no bug problems whatsoever at all, huh? Exactly. Not one bug. Yeah. So what else do we got here? We got... We got some tequila for later, right? Patron. Patron. We got some Patron for later. We're just kicking out. We're just kicking back out here by the fire. I got this awesome flask compass. Check that out. It's a compass flask right here. So I can stick my Patron in this later. I got this at my wife's work. It's pretty cool. It's got a compass on the front here of the flask and everything. It's nicely polished, isn't it, babe? Mm -hmm. How's our fire doing? Pretty good? Are Getting you watching it? Getting go. Yeah. So, today we arrived here, what, in the afternoon, early afternoon. We got here. Um, there's lots of firewood around here. The forestry wants you to chop as much firewood as possible to clear it out of the forest, so... I've been chopping firewood all day, um, so stay tuned for the cabin videos with the chopping of the firewood with the Fisker Zacks and what else do we got over here? Oh yeah, the Essie Hoongalus of course too. We've been batoning a lot of firewood with the Essie Hoongalus as well. So we got a bunch of gear out here. We're demoing all the gear. Yeah, we'll be here for a week so. A lot of gear is old, but there is some new gear that we are demoing out here. This beer is just excellent. It is, huh? Mm hmm Our fire's doing pretty good, huh? Yep. We'll be able to add some more logs in a while. Too bad we have to go special order of that. Well, we got case after case now. Yeah, I know, but I'll just try to get it in at my store. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to... Get it over to your other store, huh? Mm-hmm. Sorry there's so many bugs. I, right. I didn't think there was going to be. See, it's the month of September, and usually everything's pretty much cooled down around here. It's still about, what, 80 degrees or something. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, we're in a higher elevation. It's um, over 3,000 feet in elevation It's like 3,500. It's 3,500. Close to 3,500. I can check on the GPS later. It's just a hair under 35. Yep. 
Yeah, there goes all the, the fire logs. is burning now. The TP that's rolled over, guys. We're in trouble now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just going to be kicking back. I just wanted to do this beer review. Wish you guys all a happy Labor Day. Like I said, we won't be posting this video for quite some time. We're here for 10 days more. And... It's only one day after Labor Day. Yep. It's Tuesday, actually, the day after. So I want to wish you guys all the best. Until the next video, peace out, Justin and Jana. Peace. Take care. Peace, guys.